Well, we'll talk about Sunderland then. Uh, and Sunderland are terrible. Mm. End, end. They conceded five yesterday against a Blackburn Rovers side who are have been equally as terrible. Just weird, and it? it's just weird. And uh, before that, actually, they played they played Cardiff away, and they got a two 0 win. I think it was two 0 uh, Played pretty well in that one, um, but they are below us in the league table. Uh, one place below us, and three points behind below us in the league. Pretty good opportunity to go and make it three in a row at, st- at the Stadium of Light. A uh, confidence deprived Sunderland side who have got um, Mike Dodds as caretaker manager. Yeah, hundred hundred percent. I'm I'm just sure I, I looked at um obviously they conceded five goals like you said um incredible loss and even at home um and then I looked at yeah Blackburn's form I mean God they love a draw they they before before yesterday's win they had ten games without a win and I, seven draws Jesus um but yeah both of them pretty terrible and Sunderland the downfall along with um well. Who else was kind of up there? Well, I thought that's well, Sunderland were definitely up there. Um, and yeah, they've lost. I mean, what they lost six on the bounce. Like you said, they got the Cardiff win, but other than that, they've been pretty, pretty poor. Yeah, and this is yeah, a good opportunity. I mean, last time, well, what was the home fixture of Sunderland? We we got absolutely battered, but we won one nil. Oh yeah. We got oh, yeah. absolutely happened, that apart. happened a couple of times. That happened a couple of times this season. We got actually um, peppered. They, if they had, if they had a striker up top and not Jack Clark, they would have. Oh um, yeah, I remember that. They would that have, started our. They would have done inexcusable things to us. They were unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, because we won. We won two on the bounce after that. Made it three in a row. Um, yeah, that win was needed after a little bit patch of poor form. Um, yeah, we had our. I remember, and we had the. The last time we went away, Naki Wells had his penalty there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, big opportunity. I think after our last two performances, we've now beaten another struggling side. So I think we can really go there. We've got a few days, yeah, to Saturday. Um, could switch a couple of things up, but um, I think I might just go and play the same team again. But, yeah, I'd, um, I'd imagine he would. I'd maybe mm. actually, considering it is Sunderland, no disrespect to the Mackhams, um, he might go forward the back. He might go forward the back mm. and just attack them, just attack them. Um, he might go Sykes, um, Sykes and yeah. Manetti and you know, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. Take take Hayne Roberts out, who didn't play badly, but just because of the system, uh, he might have to be. He might be forced his hand. Maybe Joe Williams comes back in instead of maybe Matty James. Yeah, perhaps I'd keep Tanner. Or, I'd keep Tanner. Yeah, so maybe something like that. Maybe McCrory, come, maybe Tanner goes out. Um, I'd I'd keep him, but maybe Tanner goes out for McCrory, something like that. Um, yeah, I think it's a I think it's a game where we can definitely go there and win. You know, I think for now, for now, for, for us, between now and the end of the season, it's just about building some kind of confidence and momentum, isn't it? Just mm-hmm. just taking some momentum into next season. Um, yeah, just having a positive feel around the place and having yeah. Manning for Manning, I think it's about having the fans on side as well, which is much crucial for him. Mm. For him, isn't it? Um, yeah, Definitely. do you want to go give us a score prediction or, yeah, or not? And, you don't have also, to. looking <laughs> looking to what I mean, is the playoff push still on? No, yeah, <laughs> imagine, I thought <laughs> I was, I was honestly, I was like, I'm convinced we're gonna have to go on a playoff push. And then we go and lose at home to QPR and lose at Sheffield mm. Wednesday and lose at Ipswich and lose against Cardiff. And I'm going, goodness gracious me. Mm. Um, I could still see us finishing top 10, though. We could, we could, we could gather a top we 10 finish that. if we, we um, yeah, yeah. Holler, um, Holler really keep falling off the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't won in six. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can push on. But yeah, I think it's definitely a good game to have um, before two home matches against lower lower sides, one in the relegation and, and obviously Blackburn, another relatively struggling side. Prediction? You know what? I'm going to say three wins in a row 
three clean sheets in a row, three one nils in a row. I reckon get another one nil, one nil win, um, clean sheet, pretty pretty even, but just a twine goal. I'm gonna say a twine goal. Um, I'd love and, that. Uh, no, yeah. In check that into my veins. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I doubt we'll win one nil again. Uh, I'll go. One all because I'll take that as well. I'm never going to predict us to win, aren't we? Unless we play like who's who's bottom, who's bottom of the who's bottom of League Two, Forest Green, Forest Green. I think Forest Green are bottom of League Two. I'd be like, oh, we might scrape a one nil over there. Like that'd be the only time I predict us to win. Apart from that, I'm never confident. Steve Cottrell's their manager. You know that. Okay. Um. Yeah, apart from that, I'll never be confident for City. Uh, so, yeah, I'll go one or probably like a late goal for Sunderland or something like that, something stupid. Um, mm. Like a horrible back pass sign. Um, yeah, I'll go one or. Uh, let me know your thoughts. If you're watching this live, get, get your uh, score predictions in for the Sunderland game. Uh, we've got a nice little break until then. Um, and, yeah, but after that, it's game on Saturday and then midweek Wednesday and then back at home against Huddersfield on Saturday for our penultimate home game. Uh, we normally go live on YouTube, so if you want to join us live, uh, feel free to. We'll give a, uh, what is it, a little reminder on like Twitter and Instagram and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, you can find us out when we're live normally after matches. 